Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, today I'm super excited. I've been invited to be part of the Newton's Nook Deck the Halls with Inky Pauls um, week. I am a featured guest today over on the blog. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave links down below. But Newton's Nook is having inspirational projects all week long and then they're going to finish off the week with the blog hop so i encourage you guys to join in the hop and i'll leave newton's nook um blog down below in case you guys want to check it out now today's projects feature two stamp sets from newton nook and they're part of, they're part of their new release um the larger one here is called frosty friends and then the small one is so sweet it's called perfect present so we're going to make two um well one card and then two tags for my project today so we're going to zoom in. I'm going to do some stamping with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And we're going to start off by stamping our snowmen. And it's a little snowman cluster. I'm going to be coloring in these little guys with my Copic markers. And so while I color, I'll play a little bit of music. And then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring's all done. Super cute. I chose some really bright colors, as you can see. I just fussy cut my images out, and I did leave a little bit of a white border. And now we're going to work on our background, and I think we're going to use some pretty bright colors, just as bright as our snowman, to create our background today. I'm going to use my Distress Oxide inks and a blending tool. We're going to start off using Picked Raspberry. We're going to add a little bit of shading to the very top of a panel that is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Next color, we're going to use some Spice Marmalade, just blending those two together. Third color is Squeeze Lemonade. And then the fourth color, which I wasn't going to add, but went ahead and added it anyway, but this is Twisted Citron. Okay, so there's our background panel. Nice and bright and cheery. Okay, I wanted to die cut this out to a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. But before we do that, we're going to add create a snowbank and we're going to die cut both of these pieces out with a rectangle die um, at once. That way I have stitched lines all the way around my panel. Now once this is die cut we're going to stamp our sentiment. 
Um, for this card, I chose the one that says we're all a little bit flaky. I had, this had me crack it up because in my family, well, first of all, there is five girls and we're all two years apart. And so I, um, I thought this would be perfect card to send to one of them. Actually to mass produce <laughs> and send to each one of them would be super fun. But um, I stamped my sentiment with Versamark ink up in the top corner. We're going to go ahead and add some white embossing powder. I'm not going to heat set it just yet because we're going to add some snowflakes. There's two snowflakes in the stamp set, a small and a large. We're going to add embossing powder to that and use our heat gun and melt our snowflakes as well. I love the white against those bright colors. I just think it looks so pretty. Okay, this is all done. Now I'm going to take my water bottle, add some water droplets, let that react with the ink, and then we'll dab off the excess with a towel here. And that looked really nice, but I wanted more of a snowy background. So I'm going to take some white acrylic paint, add a little bit to my block here, add some water to thin it out. And once it's all mixed together, we're going to do a little splattering on our background as well. Create a little snow flurry in the background. Now acrylic paint does take a little time to dry. So while this dries, we are going to work on our, um, our tag. And again, we're going to use the perfect present for our tag. We'll stamp our little present with the little peeking kitty out of there and some white cardstock. And then, um, I'm going to color in this little guy with my Copic markers. Now I basically kind of skipped the coloring just to speed up the video just a little bit, but um, I used some browns and then for the present I chose um, pinks and for the bow I chose um, some oranges. So that's our little present. I also created the same background as I did for my background uh, panel for my card using the same colors of ink. I just trimmed it down to two inches by three inches. And then I'm going to use a pencil and mark the very top two corners, the left and the right, using the grid lines on my mat. And then I can use my scissors and trim them off. And then I have a quick and easy tag. Love that. Before we add our sentiment, I'm going to heat emboss it. So I thought we would go ahead and punch a hole in the very top of our tag. And then I'm going to use a gold eyelet and secure that to the hole of our tag, just for a little added something. Now there is a sentiment in the stamp set, the perfect present stamp set that says all I want for Christmas is Mew. Mew is M-E-W. So cute. <laughs> we'll stamp our sentiment with Versamark ink and then I'm going to go ahead and add some white embossing powder. And then using my heat gun, we'll go ahead and melt that. Um, below the sentiment, there's a little holly leaf with some berries. I colored those in with some greens and pinks. And then I have that leftover piece of snowbank that we use for a background panel on our card. I'm just going to trim it down and add this to the very bottom of my tag. Um, after I added it, I thought there was, it was, it trailed up too high on the right side. So I'm going to use my scissors and just create a little bit of more of a heel side. We'll tack that down on the bottom of our tag and then any excess overhanging, I'll just flip over and trim off. We'll go ahead and add some foam adhesive behind our little kitty cat and place her on the snowbank or him. <laughs> so sweet. Now I'm going to use some sheer ribbon, threaded that through my tag. And then if you guys know Newton's Nook Shop, whenever you order anything, it's always wrapped so pretty when they deliver it to you. Um, they wrap it in the orange and white baker's twine. Um, I, I love using this twine on my project. So I'm going to thread it through my tag and tie a bow um, with the sheer ribbon and the, um, the baker's twine. We'll put that to good use. And then that finishes off my tag cute. In fact, at the end of the video, I made one more tag. I just flipped over the panel to where the green was on the top and then um, created another tag with different colors. Okay, now we're going to work on our um, our card base. So I adhered a piece of foam tape behind my snowbank. We're going to adhere that to our background panel here. And then we'll pop up our panel with some foam adhesive and place it on an A2 size card base. It has a little bit of white border and I love that on my cards. I thought our snowman should stand out, so we're going to put um, extra foam tape on the very top of our snowman, kind of doubling up 
on the foam tape just on the top because I want him one level higher or them <laughs> lots of snowmen there but um, this is gonna make sure that they're all nice and even and flush because the bottom of the snowmen are gonna be sitting on the snowbank and I just love those bright colors super fun we're gonna finish off our project with some Nouveau glitter drops and white blizzard I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle to my snowman and to my little present and then that finishes off my project for today guys I encourage you guys to go check out the um, Newton's Nook blog this is an annual event every year I think for the past six years uh, Newton's Nook celebrates the holidays with the deck the halls week deck the halls with inky paws week and there's lots of inspiration all week long and remember there's a blog hop um, at the end uh, um, of the week on Friday but I'm super excited to be a guest designer I hope you enjoyed my project thank you so much for joining me guys I wish you a fantastic day and we will see you again soon bye bye